My name is Rich Kingy. My professional rugby career started off in 2009 for the Australian Sevens. By the end of the year, I had caught the eyes of the Wallabies coach, um, Robbie Deans, and yeah, I went away on spring tour with uh, the Wallabies, which took me on a trip to Hong Kong, England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Kingy, there he goes. He's the first man to look for her, and away he goes. When arriving back in Australia, I got offered a contract with the Queensland Reds before I took a three-year contract with the Melbourne Rebels. Kingy, really good footwork here. Came back inside Murphy and then just flicked it back in field. At the end of my Melbourne contract in 2013, I got offered a two-year deal with Stade Francais um, in Paris, France. Well, my first season with Stade was amazing. My second season seemed to be out for pretty much most of the season because of an illness that I, I had contracted um, during uh, my pre-season. So I was just at training and um, I was complaining of back pain and um, flu-like symptoms that as a rugby player you know you're, you're meant to be tough and invincible and nothing hurts you and if you show weakness it's not good um, so for me I had that I had bled my rugby career doing that you know being thinking I was tough I was invincible and nothing hurt me so you know, a little a little cough wouldn't hurt me as well, a little back pain wouldn't hurt me. But yeah, it, it was hurting me and it almost claimed my life. Literally until I started coughing blood that I realised something was wrong here. I messaged my coach telling him that I wasn't going to be able to make training. I had a minor stroke and I slipped into a coma. I woke up in hospital a month later, um, not knowing where I was, uh, not knowing who was there. Um, you know, I couldn't speak because I had tubes down my throat for feeding and for um, for oxygen. And you know, I was I couldn't move because I was paralysed from the stroke that I had. And yeah, I was pretty much um, a zombie. It left the, the whole entire right side of my body um, paralysed, um, where I had to learn how to speak. I had to learn how to read and write again. Um, I had to learn how to walk. Um, so everything that I took for, for, for granted, I had to learn again. Now, I, I honestly believe that it would have been longer if it wasn't for my wife. There, every step of the way. Because, you know, there were times where I just wanted to give up. To have someone as a support like that, you know, it's incredible. So I owe a lot, a lot to her, for what she has done for me. Those things made me who I am today, because now I know that if I could get through being paralysed um, and being pretty much a sponge, you know, then I could get through anything. So it was six months before I took my first step, un steps unsupported. It took me a further year and a half before I actually got to play rugby again. Now for me that was emotional because when I was on the rugby field I started crying. Um, to actually get out back out on the rugby field, what I grew up playing, what I grew up loving, you know, and it was something so special that no one could take away from me. You know, these doctors told me that I would never walk again that um, I would never ever play rugby again. One advice that I can give to any rugby player um, with an illness go thinking that they need to be tough and train through it, don't because it could be something worse than, than originally thought of. Thank you for listening to my story. Um, I hope you got something out of it. If you have any questions, uh, flip me a, a message on Facebook, um, King Skill Training, um, and I'll be sure to message you back.